My name is James Cunningham. I'm a high-class butcher in Kilkeel. It's established in 1919 by my grandfather, and uh, it was continued on by my father, Tony. I've kept it going now this last 30 years, and now my son's continued on the business. When I was young, the butcher shop was here as it is. At this time of the year, in the springtime, you would be able to hear orphan lambs uh, in the kitchen and next door because they've been kept round the range to keep them living. Uh, up beyond was a slaughterhouse, uh, behind that was a bar, after that was a hen house where the chickens were produced. Like everything was really coming off the land and coming off our farm and that's why this mirror behind me says uh, from our family farm to your family table because we were butchers and graziers. The produce from this area is so good because we've got the mountains up above us, with the sea down below us, we've a temperate climate, we've got lush pasture land, we've got small farmers who really care for the food that they produce, who look after their soil well and who try and produce something which people will really enjoy to eat. People care more here because we're small, they, we don't have an awful lot of livestock, we're not uh, in America or Australia where the, if the lamb lives it lives, if it dies it dies. Here the farmers sit up all night trying to make sure that they don't lose anything and when they have it living they try to make sure that it does very well, that it's well fed and it thrives and it's well looked after and loved indeed. We have unique lamb and we've got the mountain black faced lamb but uh, the farmers are very uh, open towards new breeds and they've been working very hard developing breeds which thrive very well in our area. Uh, as I said, because the farms are small, the farmers care more about their stock. Their stock's much more important to them, and they're very proud of what they produce. The dry cured bacon, we get the pork uh, nice and lean, nice size. Uh, depending on the weight, we then weigh our spice and rub the spice in. Uh, we put it then into a vacuum pack bag because that keeps out all the air. We allow it to uh, to mature for seven days. After seven days we take it out, we uh, wash it off and then hang it in the fridge to dry off for another five days. After that it's ready for use. We used to dry cure it years ago and the recipe was still here and I was always looking for a you know, unique product which is unique to our butchers. So I dragged up my grandfather's old recipe and then modified it because in those days they used to do it in the wooden chests with uh, you know, one line of pork on top of the other. But today, because we've got vacuum packs, we can do them individually and it keeps out the air and it makes for a better product. Well, the plans for myself uh, and this uh, Butchers is to develop more uh, products which are absolutely unique to us, which means you have to come to us to buy it. Uh, for the whole area, we intend to try and continuously improve our product so that when people come to visit us, they're going to enjoy the experience. It's both in what they see and in what they eat.